In this tutorial, I will go over string object in JavaScript. In every JavaScript string, there are properties and functions that you can use to manipulate the string. So, to access property, you just do like uh, your string's name dot, and then whatever property you want to access. So, let's say you want to get the length of a string you use the length property so you would do like your variable dot length so let's create a variable now i'll just call it my string equals and i'll just put a hello in it as the string so if you want to help uh this string's a length you would do my string dot length so let's put that in a variable as well. So I'll just call it my length and print it out with a document dot write. So this uh, document dot write should print out the length of the my string. So let's save this and view it in the browser. So as you can see, it displays five because hello is five letters long. So let's say if you wanna access some functions, let's uh, access like two uppercase function which uh, changes it to uppercase. So you do my string dot two uppercase. And uh, that's how you like access uh, my string functions. So I'll just put it in a variable as well. So uppercase string, and I'll just name it uppercase. You can also make a lowercase by using two lowercase. lower and lower let's uh, print out those uh, results uppercase and lowercase and I guess it'll also need like uh, breaks So this should print out first the length of the string and then the uppercase result and then the lowercase. So let's reload our uh, file. So as you can see this uh, displays number 5 then hello then hello lowercase. So that's how you access like uh, functions and properties in like a uh, JavaScript strings. So next I'll go over uh, comparing the strings. So you just like uh, compare it uh, like if and then let's say if you want to see if uh, this string contains the word hello. So you would just do my string equal equal hello and then I'll print out matched if the string matches else I'll print out uh, no match if the string doesn't match so it'll it'll first see if this variable is equal to this if it matches then it displays this otherwise this 
So let's save it and reload our file. As you can see, it displayed a uh, match. It displayed it on the same line because it didn't put a break there. So let me put a break as well. As you can see, it says matched because obviously they had uh, like uh, the same strings. So let's say if uh, you're comparing instead like you had a mismatch between like uh, the capitalizations so let's save it and reload as you can see it displays a no match so over here if you don't care for the case these uh, functions for the strings would uh, come in handy so you would do like dot to lower case dot to lower case and this will change both to lower case and then compare them so let's reload our browser again as you can see it says uh, matched I mean you could have you also used like a two uppercase instead if you wanted to doesn't matter so let's reload the browser again and it says uh, matched now this uh, tutorial seems to be getting rather long so I'll stop right here and continue on